Yo, what's up guys, King Jerry here, and sorry I am a little late on this rebuild once again, but Chris Paul was recently involved in a sign-in trade to the Houston Rockets, so now this team is looking pretty deadly. They were the three seed in the West, which is a very, which is the better conference over the East, sorry to admit it, but yeah, and now they just added Chris Paul with all defensive first team, and is just one of, I'd say, top five point guard in the league, league maybe even top three. So this is what the lineup is going to look like for year one. Chris Paul, Harden, Ariza, Anderson, Capella. Actually, my goal for this year is to, of course, make the playoffs as a top three seed, but I want to clear up some caps so I can get a big free agent too. So I'm going to go ahead and trade Ryan Anderson. I mean, he's all right, but not for 20 mil a year. So I'm going to go ahead and trade him. And then... Yeah, that's probably it. He's really the only bad contract you have on this team, so I'll see what the trade I get for him. So this trade right here looks great to me if I can if you can remove Cord Brewer. Alright, so I'm just gonna go back, take that, and get Corey Brewer. Come on. And then I'm going to trade Cord Brewer. Actually, is he just on a contract here? I'm gonna see what Corey Brewer is doing. If he's just on a one-year contract, I'll just let him walk in the offseason. But if not, I'll trade him for some picks. Let's go over here to contracts. Alright, he does have another year on his contract, and I do not want him, because, no offense, Corey Brewer, but you're not really the best player, and you're getting overpaid, so, someone just give me a pick for him. Joe Harris, no, I just want, like, a pick, like, second round or anybody. Willie Reed, alright, sure, Willie Reed, you can come to the squad, probably won't get any minutes. I'm um, just going to move you back to power forward, and then I will see you at the end of the season, where I'm expecting to be a top three seed. I did forget to mention one thing. Um, the free agents will be one year off every rookie is on the correct team and all the trades except we just are one year off so like Paul George won't be a free agent this season and neither will Boogie it'll be like um, I'm not really sure just no free agents are one year behind can we go 10 and 0 start out 10 and 0 oh my gosh we are on a fire season start out 10 and 0 I just jinxed it as we lose our 11th game but we are looking great at the start of the season alright so Russ Westbrook is the MVP. I almost said Westbrook. That's pretty weird. Um, but he got a triple double and it was a crazy triple double. Almost 34 points, 13 assists, and 13 rebounds. That is crazy. Lonzo Rick Deer, LeVar is probably so happy right now. But I don't, not really sure if he left the Lakers to the playoffs, like LeVar said. Plumley, sixth man of the year. Should have been Aaron Gordon. I'm sure he had better stats than Plumley. Uh, Drummond, defensive player, some pretty good stats. 15, 15, two steals, and two blocks. That's pretty crazy. And Jokic most improved. He should have won in real life over Giannis. And we do get coach of the year. Second coach of the year in a row for Mike D'Antoni as we go 62 and 20. So there's James Harden all NBA first team. 20. All right, some crazy stats. I'm going to take double double. Yeah, those are some real good stats. Let's see. Oh my, is that Lonzo on all NBA second team? Lovar is so happy right now. But did Chris Paul make one? No, so. Yeah, Chris Paul did not make it, but he is an all-defensive first team. He had a great season, 20 and about 13 with three and a half steals per game. Oh my gosh, Chris Paul balls out. Let's see, can we win it in year one? I didn't even do much for the squad, but can we win it in year one? If we do, I will go on to a second season. I'm just going to simulate current round. We should sweep the Nuggets. Four win in seven games, 2K, do what you want. They kind of Timberwolves with Jimmy Butler, let's see. That's a sweep, that's easy, but this is going to test us. We won one more game than the Golden State Warriors, and I do not think we have a better team than them, but we are up. Oh my gosh. I thought we were about to sweep the Warriors, but we are in the finals now. We beat the Warriors in five games. Cavs simulate current round. Oh my gosh, we win it in year one. I didn't even do anything to the team. Chris Paul, finals MVP. I am going to go on to a season number two. I will show you. It is 50 simulator difficulty. Where is that? Options. Look, if we go down here, the simulator difficulty is at 50. Gameplay difficulty. I'll turn it to Hall of Fame, but that's only if I jump in. And I did realize I forgot to show you the player stats. So here's what everybody did. See, Eric Gordon, this was our sixth man, put on 15 points a game. 3 point five assists. He should have won it over Miles Pummy or Mason Pummy, whoever won it. Capella, not bad. Aaron and Zubak, pretty much about the same production, so they're probably back and forth for the starting spot. I definitely do want to upgrade our small, for small forward. Ariza, why did he only play? Oh, he played all 82 games. Not the best. He was starting for us, so 
yeah, I will see you at the start of season number two, probably in free agency, because we don't have any good picks. One thing I am going to do, I didn't realize Trevor Ariza was making this much. He is making seven and a half mil, so I am going to trade him. We will have about 22 mil after we trade him. Yeah, and then hopefully that will be enough to get us like a better starting small forward than him, and maybe we do need a backup point guard, and yeah, I might trade some power forwards because we have four on the team. I'm going to probably trade um, Willie Reed, so if 2K will load here, I will find a trade for a reason. I'll see you with that. Alright, so Sean Kilpatrick was pretty nice last year. Oh, he's kind of small for us, small for us. I was going to say, I'm going to move him to small for us, but he's only 6'4", so that's a no-go. Miles, making a little more than I want. So someone honestly just give me picks, like the Spurs or the Suns. Yeah, I'm probably just going to do this from the Suns, but you can keep Derek Jones Jr. He's a good dunker, but that's about all he's good for. Um, sorry, I am trading Willie Reed and the hand free throw guy just because I do not want them on the squad, okay? I'm not going to trade him for the Thunder. There was someone who offered me just picks right here. Thank you, Nick, for giving me basically a second round pick for them because I had to give up one of my own second round picks. They weren't doing much on the squad anyway. I don't think either of them were getting minutes. So now I will see you at the start of season two with our acquisitions of free agency and the lineup. Okay, sorry Rockets fans if you like Montrezl Harrell. But I am trading him because I needed to get rid of like a million in cap to be able to offer him here a contract and I'm being offered two first round picks for him. So sorry if you're a fan of him, but I'd rather have Gordon Hayward on the squad than him, even though it's not really realistic. Let's just make a super team. Alright, so here's what the squad looks like. Chris Paul and James Harden both getting 38 minutes. Basically, just insert Rudy Gay into the starting lineup. He was pretty good last year. 17 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. If he's not performing that well, I will trade him. Zubak is now starting for us. He's 7-1, so that's not bad. Capella, he did pretty good last year, so this should be a pretty good defensive combo. Gordon, of course, the greatest 6 man there ever was. Just kidding, I don't know. I just said that. And then, our bad Justin Harrison and A. And we were are a 7, 8, and 9 man. So I will see you at either if I trade Rudy Gay or at the end of the season if it looks like we're going to be the number one seed again. Alright, so Aaron Gordon is getting 28 minutes a game and Rudy Gay is getting 29 minutes starting. So I'm going to move Aaron Gordon to um, small forward, start him over Rudy Gay and make Rudy Gay our 6th man. So. I'll give Rudy Gay 26, give Gordon 30, 31. All right, so that is the only thing I'm making at the trade deadline. We are the second seed, six games behind the Warriors, so not looking that good. We'll probably meet them in the Eastern Conference Finals again, though, and you all know after last year, Warriors lost in five. All right, Russ once again gets a crazy triple-double for MVP. Lauren Wells, rookie of the year. I'm not sure who he is, but I did implement an actual draft class. Currently went to Maryland. I don't know. He's probably in high school right now. Uh, Plumlee, six men of the year. Drummond, second defense player of the year in a row. Pretty much identical stats last year. Irving, most. All right. Oh my. Okay, Kyrie did jump up a lot, but I don't think he should be the most improved because we all knew Kyrie was a star anyway. And Tom Thibodeau of the Warriors in his first year. They went 65 and 17. We went 57 and 25. No hard and no on all NBA first team or second team. Okay, so, oh, I miss Chris Paul, though. He did make all NBA second team this year. 94 overall. That's crazy. Stats a little bit down from last year, but still expect to see him all defensive first team. Yep. There he is. So, Harden did not make the team this year. Let's go check out the player stats. I don't know how. He still balled out. Rudy Gay and Eric Gordon pretty much didn't change at all since I moved Eric Gordon into the starting position, but it's whatever. We are taking on the Thunder first round. That's always scary taking on Westbrook, but we should get by him pretty easily. 2K. Alright, well that's going to be it for this video. We did win in year one. Really didn't do too much to the squad. Just shows you that this is a good team. As the Cavs play the Thunder in the finals, LeBron finals MVP, who else would it be but Russ Westbrook leads the seven-seeded Thunder to the playoffs, and I will see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.